Hey, hey, Spring La Fay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aries, this is a reading for you. I want to take one of these. Chaos and conflict, um, overall energy. So, there's chaos and conflict maybe surrounding you at this time. Um, or is coming into the picture. Okay, for Aries. Okay, you've got, um, how can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire. But it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have your have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. So I feel like that chaos and conflict, a lot of that may be within yourself and you know, once you have faith and let go of the um, need to know, got to know now, uh, it feels like things will start to feel a whole lot smoother. Today's soul action. Know this. So deeply that your soul vibrates, you are not alone. Your life has purpose. And the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra, I surrender, I accept all that I cannot change, I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. So that's awesome. That's beautiful. Now let's get you one of these. Whoops, there it is, quickly. Uh, we've got, my home is a peaceful haven. Someone else got that card, and someone else got that one too. Uh, but I can't tell you who. One of the other signs. It says, I bless my home with love. I put love in every corner of, and my home lovingly responds with warmth and comfort. I am at peace. So that's beautiful. Being at peace where you're at. Thank you. Okay, we've got two... We've got opening my mind and cultivating courage. We'll start with opening my mind. Allow yourself, I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. Cultivating courage. In any given moment, I always know exactly what to do. So cultivating that courage. Bringing forth that courage that you need in your life. Okay, let's see what we get. Special message for Aries. Special message. Okay. Okay, you're keeping yourself stuck. You're keeping yourself in this energy, and it's it's you. It's not something that has to be, but it's keeping you from moving forward, um, guarding yourself so much that you put up walls and you don't even see them. Um, so you need to, you know, you're going to have to take down the walls a little bit if you're wanting to let someone in. Um, I feel like that you got someone wanting to come in, um, and you need to see the truth. Tell me about this Knight of Swords wanting to come in. They were going to communicate with you. They may want to come in quickly, I'm going to tell you. Uh, they're going to want to communicate. This 
this is someone that's got passion. They feel passion for you. They want to um, have a healing relationship, it feels like. They want this to go forward. This is someone that perceives you and them as being a wish come true. Wow. Let's see. Could tell me more about this person. Okay, this person has dealt with a lot of crap. I've seen it on the bottom whenever I've seen that right there. They've dealt with someone who put them through the mill. You know, it's they've dealt with a lot of crap. They've had a broken heart. But it's learning. It was learning. It was um, karma. They had to learn. Tell me more about them. This person is full of life. Um, they take life with a stride. Things come at them. They take life with a stride. Um, they're someone who um, is a money maker. Someone who has got abundance. They they do what they need to do. Someone who is um, all about making things happen. You could be dealing with a um, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be that. Someone who's religious. Um, why the moon card? Okay. They find you very mysterious, very elusive. It's almost like they, they have trouble figuring you out. <laughs> um, and it's understandable because you've got your guards up so high that, you know, it makes sense. I mean... Your guard is so high, you, you need to let your guard down a little bit. You need to um, break them walls down, bust the walls down. Um, seriously, I mean. It's almost like let, let them have a chance, you know? That's what I'm feeling. They may mess up, but they may not. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what it feels like. Are you willing to take a chance? Are you willing to take a chance? On, on having true love? Or are you going to keep yourself stuck? Courage is here because the choice is yours. You see what I'm saying? They're showing it right here. You know, you, they want to heal. They want to heal and they want to move forward with you, but it's your choice. You know, the choice is in your hands. angel for you you know this could be um, a soulmate connection I need to this give me just a second no not that one okay soulmate twin flame it's just got that feeling this person they could be your soulmate or your twin flame you got some issues you need to deal with um, they've had an ending Something's ended in their life, and you know they're they're moving forward. This could be a soulmate or twin flame connection. It very well could be, and it's like um, whatever ended. Um, plus, I feel like that you need to look at something about your health as well. But whatever ended, it's like it done something. It done something to them, and now they want they want what they feel. And they feel it with you. Wow. Okay, you got two. You've got passion. See, they feel passion for you. 
And I feel like you feel it too, but you were so scared you got those walls up. Yeah, you may you may be the runner. I mean, I hate to say it. Uh, could be them, but you have to put yourself where you belong. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Wow. That's awesome. So, in the extended, I'm going to look at a um, little bit more about this, if this is romantic related. You know, a little bit more. Um, plus, I'm going to look at um, soulmate, twin flame aspect of it. Um, I also feel like um, I need to look at, okay, let's see. I'm going to look at if you are dealing with a Capricorn, for sure. If you're dealing with a fellow Aquarian. Scorpio. Or if you're dealing with a uh, Cancer or a Pisces. I'm going to look at all three of those. I also need to look at um, honestly Taurus and Aries that's mainly who I'm seeing here so um, we will look at in the extended Aquarius Aries Capricorn Taurus Cancer Pisces and Scorpio, and we'll look at that uh, romant the romantic aspect, and also the soul soulmate or twin flame aspect of it. So, and I'll put that name in the description box um, of this reading, um, so that you can see it. And that way, if you're drawn to it, you'll know for that extended. Um, yeah, and if you like the readings, thumbs up. Please do subscribe, and. Um, much light and love. Till next time. Bye.